Okay, so question number 11. What is the Lewis structure for beryllium difluoride? Okay, first, so let's find the total number of valence electrons. So this will help us draw out our Lewis structure. Beryllium contains two valence electrons. And a fluorine atom contains seven. And since there are two of them, we multiply this by two giving us a total of 16 valence electrons. So now let's draw beryllium as our central atom, and we'll draw single bonds to fluorine, and show all of the lone pairs on fluorine as well. So if we count out all the electrons that I've drawn so far, each bond containing two bonding electrons, then you'll see we already have our 16 electrons drawn in the structure. So you'll notice that beryllium doesn't have a full octet, but this is okay since, um, yeah, this is the symbol for since, uh, since Beryllium is an exception to the octet rule. Let's make it an asterisk. So because beryllium is an exception to the octet rule, uh, it's perfectly satisfied with only having uh, not a full octet, and just having the two bonds to it. And we'll see what the junior tutor said. To find the Lewis structure of BEF2, we need first to find the valence electrons for all the atoms and add them together. So they got 16. Next, we need to find the octet electrons for each atom and add them together and they got uh, 20. And since beryllium is an exception to the octet rule and get four electrons instead of eight, we get the number of bonding electrons by subtracting the total valence electrons from the total octet electrons. So this is a different uh, method of finding the Lewis structure for this uh, molecule. And then they just subtracted 16 to get four bonding electrons. Next, we find the number of bonding electrons by dividing the number of bonding electrons by two. I think they mean the number of bond pairs. But anyways, next we find the number of non-bonding electrons by subtracting the number of bonding electrons to the total valence electrons. 6 16 minus 4 is 12, or 6 lone pairs. Using the information from above, we can draw the Lewis structure. So this solution is correct.